What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for Everyone. That's coding with the K. I am your host, St. R. Edwards. Thank you for joining me again. So we are now at the end of chapter one in the book, App Development with Swift, Everyone Can Code. And that's very exciting, first of all. So congratulations if you made it this far. So we're at the end and we are on our first guided project. It's called The Light. So in this project, what you're basically doing is you're creating sort of a flashlight type of an app. The screen starts off white, the user presses a button, the screen goes black, light on, light off. Very easy, right? All the concepts that are in this chapter or, or in this guided project, I should say, are things that we've worked on and that I know that you can do. So starting on page 96 is where the, guide, the guided project starts. So give yourself a shot and try to do it really, really try, put forth your best effort and try to do this project with, with no help but the book. If you follow the instructions, I know you can do it. I have faith in you. If not, in this next video, we will be doing it together, all right? So just stick to it and, and really, really give it your best shot. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Take care. Hey guys, welcome back to the Ski Channel. Swift coding for everyone. St. R. Edwards here. As I mentioned, so we're on our guided project um, called Light, and it's basically going to be a flashlight app, and very simple. So it starts off with the button, you uh, and the buttons, and the screen's already white, so the light's on, and when the user taps the button, the light goes off, and the, the screen is black as well, okay? So off and on. Light on, light off. Very easy. So if you haven't already, go ahead and open up and uh, create a new project called Light, uh, new Xcode project. And you can do that again by clicking on your Xcode icon in your dock. And you can go to new project once that little screen pops up and you name it, the lot, name it Light. And it'll be a single view application. Make sure Swift is selected as the language. Click OK, save it wherever you want. And you should be at this point. All right, and you'll click on main.storyboard. One of the first things we'll do is we'll make sure that the iPhone 8 is selected if you're using simu if you're using the simulator. If not, you can use your own device, but make sure that it also matches on uh, Interface Builder. Make sure that you know this app that you're designing for, or this view, I should say, it's also uh, matches your your size of your device. So down here, it's already there for iPhone 8. So we'll keep it here. And make sure you keep it in the portrait orientation. All right, just uh, straight up and down. The next thing we'll do is we'll make sure the document outline is showing, which it is. If not, remember, you can click down here and you can uh, show your document outline. We'll select the view controller. Um, this is, uh, the, and it holds our view, right? So, so we want to make sure that the view controller that our app came with is of type view controller and view controller is a subclass of UI view controller. So everything that UI view controller has in its, um, in its makeup, view controller has access to as well. So what we want to do is make sure view controller is highlighted and we want to go over to, if you haven't already, make sure you go to the identity inspector, which is already on for myself. And we can see that the custom class is set for view controller. So we're all set there. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a button, right? So we're going to drag a button from our objects library. Make sure that this circle uh, with the uh, square in the middle is selected, the objects library. And you can either search for button or you can uh, type down here below and drag it, to the, drag it onto the screen. And we'll put it in the up uh, left-hand corner. Follow your guide, uh, the left guide and your top guide, and release right there. And we're going to create an action, okay? So the way we create an action, remember, is by hitting the assistant editor. Uh, this is one of the easiest ways to do it. Um, you can actually drag uh, from the from the uh, you know the button itself here in the document outline if you want it to. And actually, I'll just go ahead and do it that way. So what I'll do is, is I'll make some space and I'm gonna put it under the view did load because it's an action. So I'm gonna control click and drag 
uh, you know, my blue line from here, the document outline to the view controller class. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. You can also right click if you don't have a trackpad. I'm going to release right there. I'm going to change it from outlet to action. And I'm going to name this button tapped. I'm going to leave the type as any touch up inside for the event and argument center sender. All right. And I'm going to close this by hitting the standard editor again. And I'm going to go over to our view controller class in a project navigator. And I'm going to make some space and just hit enter one time. And we want to set, we want to set a breakpoint here just to make sure everything is run correctly with our button tap. You can also do a print statement, remember, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to utilize and get used to setting breakpoints and making sure everything is working properly. But you know, of course, creating a print statement. So once our app pops up and you click on it, you know, your print statement will say whatever in the console. And this is just another way of doing that. All right. Um, so we'll go ahead and build and run our app. I'm just going to hit Command R just to run it. Once we tap into it, uh, it should activate this breakpoint. It should be highlighted green. And uh, if so, we will move on. All right, button. So let's tap on the button. All right, breakpoint. All right, it hit. So we know that this will be working. All right, so we can get rid of this breakpoint just by clicking on it and dragging it toward the view controller class kind of toss it away all right we can stop it the app from running for right now click back on the folder all right so now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have a variable so we can change our background right so when we start off the lights already on because technically the background is white so lights on if, if it's not on, the background should be black, all right? So so we can say, you know, we can create a variable that's a bool, uh, lights on. So that so, so that way we can kind of keep track of the status. And what we'll do is, and so we'll go to the top here and we'll create a variable called lights on or light on, and then it'll be a, a bool. So we'll just set it to true because we already know that our screen start, starts off as white. All right, so we'll keep it that way. And what we can do in our action when a button is tapped, if the light's on, we want the light to be off, right? So what we can do is we can just set our variable in here. Light on equals not light on. So that way it'll switch. Remember the exclamation mark in front of the variable means the, the not operator. So it reverses this. So light on is true. But but now you know we're setting it to equal uh, light you know light not on, okay. So we got that set. Now what we want to do is we want to get into control flow and just create a simple if statement to say if the light is on the screen should be white. If not the screen should be black. That could be done with an easy if statement. So we'll do that. So we'll say if light on our view dot background color should equal and we'll just say dot white and then we'll say else view dot background color equals dot black all right all right, so let's try this out. Let's go ahead and build and run, and we will see if this works. All right, starting off as white, so the light's on. Let's hit the button. Boom, light off. Hit it again, light on. Light off. All right, it works. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next video, and we are going to update the UI, and we're also going to add an outlet. We're going to add an outlet, and then we're going to update the UI. All right, take care.